Hey, hope you're doing well. Today we're talking about the Rode Wireless Go, the Rode Video Micro, and the Tascam DR10L using a Rode Smart Lav. Three of my favorite pieces of budget filmmaking gear for creators who are on the go and don't want to spend a lot of money. But this, the Rode Wireless Go, I think is a game changer. This is one of the best pieces of equipment I've seen come on the market in the last 10 years. So as we jump into the review of the Wireless Go, we're gonna be using these other devices too, and we're gonna talk through what the benefits are of each one of them and what the cons are of each one of them, and then we'll talk about what makes this so special. This video is not sponsored by anybody. Nobody sent me these for free or gave these to me. I purchased them at one point or another for use on this channel and in my production company. So this review is unbiased, unsponsored, and you can take it for what you will because it's free and it's on the internet. So. Yeah, there's that. I'm obviously not in my studio. I'm out in front of Portage Glacier. I'm hoping a giant piece falls off while I'm doing this review and, you know, I'll just stop talking and we'll watch it fall off. But uh, so far it's just been small, you know, giant boulder sized pieces. It's a glacier, what do you expect? It's such a beautiful spring day. I really had to get out and just, and just be outside for a little bit. So I grabbed my kayak and came out and here we are. What most people don't realize about video is that audio is at least half of the equation. And if you don't get good audio for your videos, even if your video is not that great, people will tune out fast because of the audio. Audio is crucially important to be able to connect with your audience. And so having a few small but inexpensive pieces of gear to help you capture good audio will really help you go a long way into improving the quality of your video. So first off, let's talk about shotgun mics. This is the Rode Video Micro. It's an excellent, inexpensive, it's about $59 US at the time of this recording, shotgun mic that is essentially plug and play. This dead cat helps it to handle wind really, really well. It takes a quarter inch or a, um, an eighth inch TRS. You can get an adapter, a different type of cable if you're gonna plug it into a phone. This is the mic that I've recorded 98% of my videos with, unless it's been in the studio. So if you've watched any of my other videos at all, this is the mic that you've heard and that I've been using. The plus sides of this thing is it's super light. I can put it on top of my camera with my gimbal. I can use it um, in small spaces. It does handle the wind really, really well. And because it's inexpensive, I'm not terrified about breaking it. I'm currently recording this with the Deity D3 Pro, another excellent shotgun mic, but it's a bit more expensive at $200. The plus sides of a shotgun mic are, it uh, goes straight into your camera, so you get great audio right into your camera right away, or your phone, whatever you're recording on. Um, the downsides are, you need to be pretty close. If you get much further away than we are right now, you start to notice right away. So if I was over here, I'd have to talk a lot louder for you to hear me, but it still isn't gonna sound the best because I'm further away from the mic. And that's one of the things about microphones is the closer you are, the better and more consistent you get with your audio. And so having a shotgun mic is great if you can keep the shotgun mic close to your talent or close to you, and, uh, and keep it at a consistent distance, you'll get good consistent audio. And then there's another one of my favorites, which is using an, an external recorder like this, the Tascam DR10L and a lapel microphone to put it on your talent. The plus side is no matter how far away your talent gets, you'll always get good, clean, consistent audio because the microphone and the recorder are on their person. This one's great because it's small, it's inconspicuous, it works great for weddings or interviews or things like that. The downside is that if they move around a lot, you can get some scratching noise um, and it doesn't hold up as well in wind. Also, if you're in a really echoey environment, these will pick up a lot of the echoes. The other downside is that you have to sync up the audio in post. And so it's important to get a good uh, sync point for your audio. And the easiest way to do that is just to clap or snap or something that's gonna give you a big spike waveform to be able to sync your audio and your video in post. The Tascam DR10L is one of my favorites. Um, I'll be doing a few full review on each of these things individually, 
soon. And then we come to the Rode Wireless Go, which is a great addition and I'm super excited about it because it's so small, it's so compact, it's easy to put on top of a gimbal like I can put it on top of my a7 III as it's sitting on my Weevil Lab and it works no problem because it's only 30 grams. It's super, super lightweight. Now, is it the best? No, you'd have to spend a lot more money, but at $200, it's really, really a good deal. Um, the signal strength isn't the strongest, and so if you get very far away, it's gonna drop out. But being able to put it close like this is a fantastic way to go. Personally, I like using it with a lavalier. It does have a built-in lavalier microphone. I don't like the look of a big boxy thing clipped on here, so I'm gonna use a regular lavalier microphone and try and hide it as much as I can. But that's the best thing about the Rode Wireless Go system is that it's easy to use either way because there's the built-in microphone, and so in a pinch, if you don't have another microphone with you, you can use it. Uh, but if you do have a lapel with you, then you can use that too because they gave you both options on there. The battery life, life lasts about seven hours and I've seen it be pretty close to that. Now, everything I do needs to be fairly small, compact and lightweight because I'm doing stuff like this where I'm hiking. I've got to pack it all into one backpack. I've got to put it in my kayak or something like that. Small airplanes, uh, weight and size is always a factor. So having something like this as an option to be able to just throw it in my bag, being able to put this on top of, or sorry, this on top of my camera and have it on my Weeble Lab, but still be able to get great audio that's on the person who's talking is really, really great. The fact that they included a mic built in that actually does a pretty good job is great too. I think it's fantastic. The downsides, the weak points of this are that it doesn't have a lot of range. But at $200, I wouldn't expect a lot of range. Um, you do want to keep a clear line of sight between the receiver and the transmitter. That's pretty normal until you jump up into like the six, seven, eight hundred dollar range for professional wireless audio. Um, but for me, for this, it's going to be everything I need to get great audio on a subject wherever I'm going to be because. Uh, really, you're not going to be that far. But if a shotgun mic like this, if you're not going to be able to stay within 18 inches or so of your subject, but you still want to capture great close audio, then the Rode Wireless Go is going to be a great option for you. I'm super excited to use it more. I've been using it a lot since it very first came out, and it's a great little system. It does have its downsides and weak points, but at $200, you kind of got to expect it to. So if you want to see individual reviews of audio equipment I use in my production company, click or tap right here. If you want to see uh, videos about other tech that, tech that I use, drones, phones, cameras, stuff like that to make great videos, then you can click or tap right here. I was hoping a piece of that glacier would fall off while I was doing this, but it didn't. Oh well, what are you going to do? It's a glacier. You really can't rush these things. I'll see you again soon.